Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. Currently on the daily time frame for Bitcoin, we're still breaking down massively from this giant triangle pattern that I have been talking about over the past couple of weeks or so. And as soon as we broke this trend line, well, we immediately saw an 11% move to the downside. And now recently we got rejected from this level of resistance. So now we are trading back to the downside. And the current active price target for this breakout to the downside is about 58,000 US dollars. However, zooming in on the short term for our time frame for Bitcoin here, you can see that we are now forming a bullish divergence, which is where we see lower lows in the price of Bitcoin and we see higher lows in the RSI momentum indicator. And typically what happens with a bullish divergence on the four hour time frame is we will get a little bit of a break from this bearish price action or potentially just see a little bit of bullish relief in the short term here. However, one thing we must take into account here is that the RSI already reached oversold territories, which is whenever the RSI reaches a level below 30. And in fact, right now we are potentially moving back into oversold territories once again. And typically whenever the RSI reaches oversold territories, there is limited room to the downside in the price of Bitcoin. And combining this with the fact that we are now trading in a major level of support, I do think it's likely that we get either a little bit of a bounce from here or we are at the very least taking some time to actually break this level of support. So the price levels you need to watch out for in the short term here are from about 62 down to 60,000 US dollars. And in the case that we lose this critical level of support, well, then the next level below it is already from 58,000 down to about 57,000 US dollars. So this would of course be pretty bearish. And in fact, if we lose this 60K level, then we are basically just getting the floor swept from under us. And I do think it would be much more likely in that case that we see much lower price action. For example, the next level below this is from about 53,000 all the way down to 50,000 US dollars, which would of course send all of these altcoins down massively. However, that's about it for the bearish scenarios. In the case that we do just hold this 60K level right here and get a bit of a bounce, well then the next level of resistance above us is from about 65.5K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. And in the case that we do break that level of resistance, then the next level above that is from about 68.5K up to 70,000 US dollars. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, typically I stay away from the 24 hour heat map, but I think because the price action is so critical right now, in the short term, I do want to take a look at it. So you can see that all the way down to this 60,000 US dollar level, there is actually still a decent amount of liquidity, about $20 million worth of people that are longing the Bitcoin price that would lose their money on their trade in case we move down to this price level. So it wouldn't be completely crazy to see us sweep the downside of this liquidity before potentially moving to the upside. However, on this 24 hour time frame, we do see about $40 million worth of liquidity at this 64K level. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. And zooming out to the one week Bitcoin liquidation heat map, we see a pretty similar story. We can see about $1.2 billion worth of liquidity at about 71.7K. And these are of course people that are shorting the Bitcoin price that would lose their money on their trade if we reach this price level. Now, lastly, for the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps, let's zoom out to the one month time frame. Right here, you can see a couple days ago, we took out a lot of liquidity to the downside with this massive candle to the downside. And it is pretty clear that most of the liquidity here is actually to the upside with about $1.6 billion at the 71.7K level. And then above that, about $2 billion at the 73,000 US dollar level for the price of Bitcoin. So obviously I can't look into the future, but I do think that eventually we take out this level of liquidity at about 73.2K. And taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables. So yesterday we saw a net outflow of about 36 million US dollars. 
And this was, of course, because Grayscale sold about $110 million worth of Bitcoin, while the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF only bought about $73 million worth, which is a lot less than they typically buy because on average, they buy about 235 million US dollars every single weekday. Now, another reason we're seeing much lower in and out flows is simply because a lot of these ETFs over the last couple of days haven't really been buying or selling, which is pretty interesting. So I still need to look into why this is happening exactly. And as soon as I find out, I will update you on what is actually happening here. So if you want to stay up to date with the important crypto price action and crypto news, then do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on because I upload a new video every single day. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level right here. And then we quickly traded to the downside, losing the 618 Fibonacci level. And basically, as soon as we lost that, it didn't take long before we traded to the downside down to this 0.5 Fibonacci level. And right now we are basically just consolidating between these two Fib levels. And you can see that a little more clearly by zooming in on the four hour time frame. So yeah, we are basically just trading sideways in this range. And the support and resistance levels that I talk about in my videos have been a pretty decent indicator to help understand what is going on in the market in the short term here. So I think for now, the most important resistance level in the case that we trade to the upside, the most important resistance level you need to look out for is from about 3150 all the way up to 3250. However, in the case that we do just start trading lower here, then the next level of support below us is from about 3000 all the way down to 2850. And unless we see some crazy news, I think we just need to watch these two support and resistance levels in the short term. So for today, I'm going to cover only these two. If you're interested in finding out more of the recent news, as well as more support and resistance levels for Ethereum, then I highly recommend you check out yesterday's video called Bitcoin warning, it's a trap. Because in that video, I dive much deeper into the Ethereum price action and news that has been happening recently. However, not too much has changed since that moment. So therefore, I'm just going to move on to Solana. Now taking a look at Solana and we have some very important price action. First of all, to recap, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level, then lost the 618 Fibonacci level right here. And now in the short term, it looks like we're actually losing the 0.5 Fibonacci level, which would be a very bad sign for Solana here. However, this is not yet fully confirmed. So for these Fibonacci levels, personally, I'm looking for at least eight hour or one day candle closes uh, before really confirming a loss of the level. Because as you can see, we already got a bunch of wicks way down below this level, but then just recovering straight to the level, right? So this is why I want to see more confirmation. But right now in the short term, this is looking very bad for Solana. And the next Fibonacci level is all the way down here at about 106 for the price of Solana. However, there are of course support levels in between the current price and this next Fibonacci level. So let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels right now. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Solana here, you can see that we have just entered this critical level of support for Solana. And if you're a holder or a short term trader, you really want to see a bounce from of this level, which is sitting from about 133 all the way down to 124. In the case that we actually lose this level of support at about 124, 125, well, in that case, it is pretty likely that we will start trading much lower in the short term with the next level of support being all the way down at 114, all the way down to 100 US dollars for the price of Solana. So if you're holding Solana in the short term right now, then this is definitely a support level that you need to look out for in the short term. One other thing to note in terms of the potential bearish scenario for Solana, we actually still have a bit of room to the downside in the RSI momentum indicator because it hasn't reached oversold territories yet on the four hour time frame. Recently, we reached about 19 
on the RSI momentum indicator, dipping deep into oversold territories. And currently we are only at an RSI of about 35. So like I said, this does mean that we do have more room to the downside in this RSI momentum indicator. But of course, don't panic just yet because it could just be a bounce from the bottom of this level of support, in which case we may potentially see a higher low in the RSI, which would then form this bullish divergence on the Solana chart where you have higher lows in the RSI and lower lows in the price of Solana. So I think as long as you're not on too much leverage for Solana, this should probably be fine. However, this is of course not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now, if you're interested in joining a free crypto community, then I recommend checking out the first link in the description down below. You can join my Discord server for free, regardless of if you have been trading crypto for years or you are just starting out. This is just a great place to be in the crypto space. So do make sure you join that. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.